Sokox so I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about Horror Nights and a couple of different things that I noticed on Twitter about Murdy tweeting and different things that I believe could be coming to the event, such as like locations, new locations, old locations, what we may not be getting this year, what we may be getting this year, just an overall update on what I've seen on Twitter. So let's get right into the video. So basically, Murdy just went on Twitter asking fans to tweet him questions while he was just waiting for a flight to back to Ireland because if you guys don't know, during the offseason, he likes to go to Ireland because he well, doesn't like to. He, he lives there. He has a house up there. Um, but he was waiting for a flight to go back to Ireland. He was asking fans to tweet him questions. So one of the questions that came out of it was, will we ever get Fred Street back as a scare zone coming from a fan? And he said, working on it. Now, quite frankly, I believe that we could be getting Fred Street. This basically confirms it to me. Uh, he wouldn't be saying working on it if he didn't have any like confirmation in his head that oh yeah we're gonna get front street back or i'm gonna put a scare zone there so that basically confirms it to me once again nothing's exactly set until murdy says it or it gets announced by universal itself but we'll just have to wait and see on if we're getting front street or not another thing that basically confirms something coming to the event this year is when a fan tweeted him do you have anything that you were excited for especially this year and he went on saying yes one off the buck list or whatever that he's been wanting to do now, this ties in to the thing. If you haven't seen my last video, go check that out. I said that the thing was going to be coming to the event this year. No confirmation yet, but Murdy has been saying that he's been wanting to do the thing. And previously, he tweeted like something about a thing, something, something about Ridley. I, I forget the exact tweet, but it's probably up on the screen. But that pretty much confirms it right there that the thing may be coming to the event. And him just saying that he's been wanting to do it and it's been on his bucket list just proves it even more because he's been wanting to do The Exorcist and The Shining, something that had been on his bucket list. And now he wants to do the thing. So he finally got the rights to the thing. And I truly believe that he's going to be bringing the thing to the event this year. So another good question that came out of this Q&A was somebody asked, will all the scare zones be original theme this year? And Murdy responded with, most of them will be original, but one may be a property. Now this definitely leads me to believe that it's another purge scare zone. Because it's one of those things that just keeps on coming back to the event. Just like The Walking Dead and just like American Horror Story. And with the new Purge movie coming out in July, I believe. If you guys have not seen the news for that, that is a new movie coming out this year. It's going to be like a prequel to the actual Purge, kind of like the first version, how it began. But I do think that that's a big chance of it coming to the event, only because Murdy likes to use a Purge a lot and it fits in well for a scare zone. Someone asked, are there any throwback mazes planned for this year? And then he responded with quite possibly, meaning not from the century. And this automatically makes me think of Universal getting a classic monster maze, something that we have never had before. Something along the lines of like Titans of Terror, but just with the classic monsters. I'm personally all for it. I think that it'd be really cool, seeing how we don't have the House of Horrors anymore, as so that was kind of based on classic monsters. I mean, they had Chucky in there and everything, but you get the point of what I'm trying to say. I think if they did it kind of like Titans of Terror, it'd be really cool. And the last question that I want to talk about in this video is somebody asked any new maze locations, which Murdy then responded with, yes, and we are losing one as well. Now, to me, this pretty much tells me it could either be Parisian Courtyard, because that maze, it really doesn't work out as a maze, it works more as a, as a scare zone, and, or Jurassic Park. Now, the reason why I say Jurassic Park is because Jurassic Park will be going will be undergoing a refurbishment that will last, I think it said all summer long, I'm not sure, but it would make sense since they do start construction in the summer for Horror Nights, maybe even earlier, and they just wouldn't have time or like room to get around to constructing the maze there while it's undergoing refurbishment. It'd kind of be an in the way thing. So that could be going away. We could also be losing Persian Courtyard just because it is uh, getting kind of old and Murdy could not see it as a good maze location since he has put in different mazes over the year there and tested out how it is as a location. Possible relocations I think could be in the back lot and different sound stages, maybe even in the Globe Theater, but the Globe Theater may be taken down sometime soon. That's also a rumor. So right now there's nothing confirmed. Right now there's really nothing that I can speculate on other than Jurassic Park could be the maze location that we're losing, which really sucks because a lot of great mazes come out of that location. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. I'm going to be doing a lot more Horror Nights videos. If you want to see my previous Horror Nights update video, go ahead and check it out right there. See the thumbnail. I know there's not an actual link, but 
or just go check it out on my channel. Um, follow me on Twitter because I'm going to start using Twitter a lot more. I used to use Twitter a lot, but then I deleted it due to unfortunate circumstances. But I have a new Twitter. It's at SoCal Exploring right there also. And make sure to follow me on Instagram. I do interact with a lot of fans on there at SoCal Exploring 7. I know this sounds like a big branding thing, but it's not. I'm just trying to, you know, interact with the fans more and get more feedback from my fans. I will see you guys in the next video. And most importantly, keep on exploring parks. Peace. Thank you.